Okay, sorry, that stream cut out. I'm back on a battery now. Uh, we, 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 we thought we might be done for the night. Here's the weird stuff, right? So, as you know, there was a 13-person lock-on this morning uh, from about quarter to three. We had a good day, no violence, no, no mishaps. Everything was doing well. Uh, when we went off, we thought everything was fine. Um, first lock-on had been cut out. Second lock-on was in process of being cut out. And then Michelle is one of the lock-ons. Michelle's in a wheelchair. And in the end, they've left. Michelle, can I just check, when they were cutting everybody else out, what, what did they say to you with regard to why you've not been cut out and why you're still here? They were. There was two of us left here. Yeah. Um, well, it was the police that were actually saying, that, oh, no, they said they were going to go home. Yeah. But they stayed there. And there. But then the ones next to me, she was really, really ill. She had, she had to self-release. Yes. So I'm the left one last one. And they said they'd see me in the morning. Right, so... Seven o'clock, I said, yeah, see you then. Good job, babe. <laughs> and he said it could be about now. See you at nine, then. Right, so from your position, you've been in a clear position to be able to see most things. I understand there were injuries. There was an injury to someone during cutting out. Dan's fingers oh, yeah, uh, yeah, been yeah. cut yeah. through the machine. Yeah, I think that's where he lifted up. He was trying to protect Miranda. Yeah. And got oh, oh, yeah. dear. I think that's what happened. Yeah. Okay, and Bibbs, I understand his arm was broken again. Yeah, Bibbs's arms were broken again. I heard it was pushed up his back. And and the second they were, tower they were demolition. Over the then, so I yeah. Did that. you see the second? Of course, they separated no, you from the other side. Yeah. Absolutely horrendous. Yeah. Still. And all these Marquis vehicles were here. There was, oh, oh, on, was and then one of them, one of his thugs, booted the bottle at me when it was parked over there. And he deliberately, the bottle's still down here, somewhere. Half yeah. the bottle. It hit me in the leg, and then he just laughed and laughed and laughed about it. Jesus. With a big blue hard hat. People just scraped by one of the cordial guys in here. Yeah. People are trying to find out what happened. You were here the whole time? Yeah. So all I know is that um, apparently Bibbs's arm got rebroken, tower got torn down, and one of the protectors was cut during the... the Cut, cut there. We had another woman dragged off the tower, head smashed on the ground. We've had ambulances out too. Uh, it's just... At what point did it escalate? So when I left, I left a happy scene, and well, not a happy scene, but you know there was no, nothing going on. Could you picture a point at which everything changed? Uh, well, they, they they just just reinforced it, brought police in. Uh, the, uh, the the they cut, uh, and it was the point where they cut the cable between the two towers. Uh, uh, whoever was in that, that tower over there decided to, you know, it wasn't worth staying and vacated it, which point the police jumped on it, surrounded it, and they were it got violent to protect it, to stop anybody else getting up that tower. Yeah, yeah. Because obviously we've seen that Ma Peter Marquis was then brought in to demolish it. We had the That's such a provocative thing for him to do, to use that supplier. He also, dropped, He dropped, he had a bulldozer, and he dropped it onto the tarmac, geez. the front of that. It was Peter Marquis himself, he dropped it onto the tarmac to drive in, to people Crikey. so he nearly ran people over with it a bit further up the road and he did the same there in front of me putting a complete lie to the police statement that they're here for our safety no what I don't understand, Stephen, you know this too, is that these are on Section 6 land. The eviction notice was not correctly dated, and it should be uh, should be done by a bailiff. So how did they come to be removing stuff from that land? They just said, like, the, the council had instructed Pete Marquis, and, like, you know, they can, so this is, they can instruct who they want. So this is Lancashire County Council, in theory, instructed him. One of the most provocative things they could have done. Yeah, I We've got solicitors down here at the moment looking over the paperwork. Uh, they've been, uh, you know, uh, pulling the place. So, we, we, you know, we, we're going to mount a legal yeah. challenge on it. Excellent. Uh, just, but it's, it's just shocking. I mean, they clearly occupied parts of the highway. It's not, it's not their property. That should be a straight line. And it's to stop uh, anybody else occupying uh, the, yeah. uh, the, you know, the yeah. uh, Section the 6. The driller had told me here, because I asked about why the fencing was coming forward. He said... They had requested it from Lancashire County Council and they've said yes, pull it right up to this line here. They're not allowed to. He said that the LCC told them, yes, move it up to that line. Right, so we have to follow that with that like LCC. Anybody see Gina get off all right? Yes. Uh, she was off all right? Yes. Okay, good, because she's Lancashire County Council, that might help. Yeah, yeah. Claire, what do we know from press? Anything? Nothing. I, I managed to get a hour of sleep, so I've only... Yeah, that was the worst thing. As soon as we all thought it was okay and went for a nap, Crazy. That's when it happened. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait till you like. So that's the trick: is don't ever go for a nap. No, don't I nap. Can't get don't. this one down because of me sat here. And I think they're still waiting. Oh. Because of this lock on, uh, the rig was spotted in Kirkham uh, about an hour ago. Right, so it's still racking around trying to find uh, its way in. Somebody following it, following it behind it. Absolutely certain it's the rig in the area, and this. Uh, I, I, You're all that's stopping everything. Uh, no, it's a, it's, a, it's a different rig. Apparently, it's not. Is it it's not stationed in front. I, I, I wasn't following it. I got a phone call. Right. Uh, to, 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 you know, so it's in the area. It's waiting to come on. And I don't think they can do it with this app. So I think you're stopping the rig coming on. So everything that's, that's working is sadly just Michelle, who's sadly stuck really, because you can't really go. Are you? I don't know. Not yet. We were waiting for visual. As well, soon as I, it, I, I put an alert out that I mean, I, I, you know, I had good and good reason to believe that. Yeah, we want a photo, and then we'll send out the one to the the, the massive group. I, I don't know if they're going to be able to get this in tonight. There's still site staff online on site, which makes me think they are still capable of taking a delivery. Because yeah. otherwise, site staff would be gone. Certainly, Neil wouldn't be here. No need for them to be here. No, no. Neil said he's on double shift tonight. Do we? Have we heard any? <laughs> one, of them, one of them did <laughs> that nothing else was coming on. He'd happily lose the 20 quid, wouldn't he? Right. Okay. I'll go and film with. Two minutes after he said that, Mark was turned up. Yeah, let's not believe anything they say then. So I'm going to go and check what happened over here. <laughs> Judy, did you find out about the music equipment? Bomb crashed down. Oh, dirty bastards. So, piece of reasonably expensive PA equipment owned by the Nanas. They, they demolished the tower, they demolished our music equipment. No friggin' respect. John, can I just check in with you? Because we went home for a nap. Clearly, that was a stupid thing to do because everything went tits up. I'm assuming our music system's been crashed in the. Yeah, it was at the tower when they dragged it down. When... But. What do we know on why they were able to do that? Because the eviction notice wasn't clear. It was incorrectly dated. Yeah. The police and wanted them to do it. The police got them to do it. How come the police are using... No, people? that's Lancashire County Council who choose who, who came. Apparently that's Lancashire County Council. Mm -hmm. stuns me. Now, but it was also such a provocative thing to do to deliberately use them. And they put the fence out again which is in breach of the planning commission yeah and they're saying that lcc's and now said they can do and they've also there's been a solicitor here he said that that car that's parked behind yeah there i got you it's illegal it's on the highway it's behind the fence whose car is that it's um security yeah so well so if it's a le oh yeah because that's actually on a pavement part isn't it the security of quadrillas no, Right, so um, updates on the injured. So we had Bibbs with a broken arm. Shona. Oh, yeah. And Shona, what happened to her? She had a... She was, she was unconscious. She's in hospital. They whacked somebody's head into a post up the road there. Um, yeah, they've been brutal. We nearly ran Wayne and two others over. The police are apparently taking responsibility for the demolition. According to Jenny Dixon, she's usually quite bright. So... Did the wagons get out yet is the question. The wagons that went in, have they come back out? No, no, they're... The, them cabin type things, we, we, we looked at the... We zoomed in on the drone footage and I think the drillers are actually living on site. Right, but the trucks that went in would need to come back out. Anything that went in on delivery, it's not come back out yet? Okay. I mean, I'm wondering why there's a continued police presence and site need, stuff. Need the crane to take it off there. Oh, I see what you mean, so maybe it's staying. I don't know. You never know with these. No. Jesus, it looks so awful. It's part of a big other convoy that's hanging around just waiting to come in. Yeah, we understand there's a vehicle. We'll get them all back out. Maybe they wanted to get a lot more than just two in today. Mm. And so they'll come back out with the rest of the big convoy. I certainly don't think the evening's over because with site staff still on site and police still present, mind you, they've got to know that we're going to be really upset about everything they've done to us today. You wouldn't mind, but it was all... You know, when I went, you know, we'd had a really good, calm day, really. You know, it'd been a, a really well-organised lock-on. Everything was calm and peaceful. Nothing was any harm. No one was being abusive. 
and, and every time it turns to violence, it's police induced. It's never us. Apparently, it was Pete Marquis himself driving the digger to wreck the tower. Oh, fucking unbelievable, isn't it? You don't give a flip him, does it? No. I, I wouldn't rest easy if I was him. He's made a lot of people very upset. Uh, you know, this is his community. He lives here. Everybody, everyone knowing, every, everyone around there knows that he doesn't care one iota about him. He's a thug. He, he, he thrives on yeah. control. He's the big I, I am. Do what yeah. I want. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he has such a serious attitude problem. Uh, for us here, Pete Marcus, which is a local supplier, it's worse when it's a local supplier because you're doing it to your own, isn't it? <coughs> he, um, he also makes a point most days of driving up here in his private reg car, so he yeah, knows we know. 200 grand car who comes past with his giving us two fingers. Yeah. I mean, this is a grown man yeah, with his own business, oh, and he he it, thinks that he wants to take on an activist bombs. movement. It's, it's, well, how could he? We're drop, maybe we're costing him money. He could be making more money. I think he's probably making more money because every penalty is not of his causing. So therefore, I think Quadrilla has to pay premium. Aren't we charging Quadrilla through the air, isn't it? So gutted it turned into this today. So gutted. Oh, and tomorrow, what the hell's tomorrow going to bring? I don't if we get through tonight. I understand there was a vehicle uh, travelling around Kirkham that we're concerned about, that they think is... There's people spotting vehicles coming off the M6 onto the M55, or they might be just coming straight off onto the Garstang Road. Pit. I don't know, but they're coming off around there, and then they disappear. So, just, I don't know, it's, there's a lot of drill fever going on. There is. We're, we're scared to send out another alert just yet. We're waiting until we get a visual on it. I don't want to pull people out again this evening if there's not a visual on what's coming, um, just purely because it's not really fair. People haven't even slept. Uh, we've still got a camp going on over at uh, Marriott's in Chesterfield. Yeah, and they said there was still activity there as well so this evening. That's as best as we can do. Yeah. And we've got our lucky, lucky breaks on the motorway because there's a lot of our supporters on that motorway. Yeah. About. I tell you what, Pete Marcus is the one that's really... You know, I don't often hold vendettas, but I feel one well, welling up inside me. <laughs> anyway, right, thank you. Okay, so that's the best I can do on updates from people here. Uh, it looks to be that Michelle, with her lock on, is probably the only thing that protected that tower over there because they couldn't have brought it down. They definitely lost her PA. <coughs> Cut this live stream for now and have a few private conversations and I'll come back.